now let me first of all quickly explain what is full stack right so imagine that you have a web page let's say here is the web page now you often access your email account let's say you have the username and the password right you have some button on which you click right and when you click on this button what it does is it may be sending some request to some place let's say this is your gmail account so google may be having some server right and that is actually sending you back the data the emails right this is a web page which you see this is the server side which you do not see there has to be some database also that also you do not see might be mysql right might be sql server might be oracle or anything else right there are many different databases we have but do you know what the database google uses or are you concerned about knowing what database google uses no and why should you know as a user it's not your concern but the point is these kind of sites have something called front end which you see right as as an end user you see that if you say that i want to learn only front end then you become a ui or ux developer right well ux is a bigger term otherwise but at the moment you can think that you are a ui or ux developer now on this server side there are different developers let's say few apis may be you call that as rest api or you can say a web service or maybe in short a program on the server which actually receives a request from this client right it processes some data in the database right and this data is again coming back here and this goes here so this section you see this is front end if you do this only in which you are using html css bootstrap javascript maybe some framework like angular or maybe react or maybe vue js there are various things so all these things you know then you become front end ui ux developer now this section if you talk about here people are using node js php maybe one can use asp.net right one can also use java and what not these all are called as server side technologies and in these server side technologies if you learn then you become a server side developer so on the server side if you work with node js or php to develop this api right you use asp.net or java or any other server side programming language then you become a server side developer a server side developer knows about basic database as well that is there might be database like oracle maybe mysql that is my sql sql server and many more maybe mongodb firebase so you see there are these technologies on client side there are these technologies on server side there are these technologies on database side when you say that you are a full stack developer that means you know the front end technology you might know only angular or react or vue or any other framework that's fine but you know html css bootstrap and javascript for sure on the server side you might know let's say node js node js is using javascript only that's why javascript has a better future right but let's say you know php on the server side right you have not worked on node js on the front end you use these technologies on the server if you are using php then you become a php full stack developer first of all when i say a full stack developer it means the developer can work all these completely client server and database that's what a full stack developer is now even the front end developer has tremendous opportunities even the server side developer has good amount of opportunities but not tremendous right but if you know all these then you have excellent and tremendous opportunities because now you can handle everything you can work on complete website 
you can develop any type of web solution with these technologies knowing so that's what a full stack is and when i say full stack that means you might be let's say dot net full stack when i say dot net full stack it means i'm using dot net on the server side and on the client side if i say i'm dot net full stack with angular that means i'm using angular js on the client side if i say i'm dot net full stack with react that means on the client side i'm using react js right if i say i am a java full stack developer that means on the server side i am using java but on the client side i am using i might be using angular react or vue depending on that's that's what that's how i'm going to explain right if i say java full stack with angular that means on the server i am using java on the client i am i know angular js that's what it is now when you say about the stack the stack which we are going to learn is the mon stack mon is a short form of mongodb express this is actually of node js r is react and n is node js if i say that i am a mean stack developer that means mongo express angular and node js sometimes i call m not only mongodb i consider as mysql also because we use mysql a lot in our applications right but this is my own definition you can refer it i mean but actually when you expand this short form it is mongodb express react and node js that's how it goes